The Wish TV Golden Apple Award is presented by Bailey and Wood Mortgage Lender. It is time to reveal our Wish TV Golden Apple Award winner, honoring an outstanding teacher in central Indiana. The prize comes with a trophy and a check for $500, plus it's all delivered with a surprise from News 8's Hannah Mordeaux. This month, you were able to meet a legendary writer in Indiana. Yes, her name is Jocelyn Sisson. She's an AP literature teacher at North Central High School and has spent decades helping students write their own stories. She demands kids be their best, is known for yelping, that's, yell helping and is just hysterical in the process. Her surprise was just as fun. Take a look. Walk into North Central High School, past the sea of students and the walls of recognition. There's a legendary teacher, even among staff. She is small but mighty. Electrifying in a classroom. That warm demander that she is uh, brings out the best in our students. You don't have to say that. They're talking about Jocelyn Sisson. My students know. She spent more than 20 years teaching yes. AP literature, language, and composition oh, yeah. here. Full names of characters. And has built a reputation. Actually, he's dead now, but he was a saint. She doesn't suffer fools, um, you know, so she, she calls balls and strikes like she sees them. She's whip smart and she is a, a, a pretty compassionate listener. That is an interesting question. She's also a mom at home, but known as the matriarch here. Definitely dives in deep, and she will not accept, will not accept mediocrity. Principal Evans Brannigan III says she's even schooled him. When she got here 20 some odd years ago, she was not going to sit in the background. Well, I love that you said you learned from her. Oh, it's true. She taught me a lesson basically over compassion and, and, and showing um, empathy toward people. It's that empathy that shines through and shapes her students, like Samuel Hammonds. Well, I chose Miss Sisson. She was very surprised. He gave Miss Sisson an award when the top 25 seniors recognized their most influential teachers. Sort of reputation of being very strict. It's really what makes her teaching so powerful and so good because you know if you made a mistake and she will tell you how to fix it. I could be wrong. She's honest. Her stern and ever educating approach, it's appreciated. She sort of does this thing where she yelps. Um, she says it's like yelling and helping. I just learned that expression just yesterday. Devin Krupa Haberski says the yelping, it's unique and works. Miss Sisson is very engaging. She is absolutely hilarious. But defines bad faith as. She also gives her time. Sisson runs a 10th grade Panther Exploration Project where students explore careers and keeps open time slots before, during, and after school to meet with students one-on-one. -on -one. It sounds like she puts you guys in control of your education. She definitely does. Her door is always open. You can go talk to her. And she's just, like, really kind and caring. And, like, she really cares about her students. And parents notice. They have to be thinkers, including Devin's mom. I'm delighted when I get reports from my daughter about what is happening in the classroom. I'm always cheering, saying as a teacher myself, thinking, oh, that, that's tough, but that's really Really good. She's preparing them for college, but also just to be thinkers in our community. So she wrote us a letter saying Miss Sisson is golden apple worthy. Her peers, pupils, and all of us agree. And that means we went to surprise her. Are you guys going on at all? No. You have won our Wish TV Golden Apple Award for yes! being an exceptional no! teacher. I'm like sweating. I feel like I'm like gonna have a heart attack and I'm crying. But you know, I'm cool. Cool. I teach. I teach 30 kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you are a pro already. Okay, so I want to tell you a little bit more about what this award means. I'm, like, I'm shaking. <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's exciting. Okay. Yes. So please. we have our partners at Bailey Wood Mortgage here. Eric Hoots is going to tell you a bit more about what you get with this award. Congratulations, first of all. Here's a really cool award. We've heard your great story, and we're honored to give you the award and 500 bucks. Wow. What do you think? That's I a big think check. It's awesome. <laughs> Stone Mall. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> joke there. No, you can go. Pencils for my students. No, no, no. <laughs> Keystone Mall. <laughs> yeah, it is. We'll all help for with you. pencils. It is all for you. <laughs> and you deserve this. You care about your students, and they care about you. They say that you make them their best selves. Oh. 
I, like I, I, I'm speechless. <laughs> I, I really do not know what to say. Well, for once, <laughs> from your students and fellow teachers, we have a little video. There's a legendary teacher, even among staff. She is small but mighty. <laughs> Miss Sisson is golden apple worthy. To see someone uh, rewarded who works so hard, you know, it's, it's just great, you know, a little justice in the universe. Refreshing to see that not only the students who work with her or her colleagues, but now uh, Indianapolis and beyond will see the good work that Jocelyn does. Because in this thankless job, a thank you really does mean so much. Thanks, Miss Sisson. You're amazing. Thank you for being an outstanding teacher. Thank you, Miss Sisson, for all the work that you've done with me. I'm proud of what you do for us, and I'm proud of what you do for our students. And thank you for um, helping me be a better teacher and for helping all of us be better. Jocelyn, you know, we couldn't do it without you. So on, on the behalf of a grateful community, thank you so much, and congratulations. You do a great job. We're appreciative, and we're thankful that we have you at North Central. Congratulations on winning this uh, recognition. And better yet, thank you for being part of our community. Wow. So I'm overwhelmed. I mean, to hear that they respect me as much as I respect them. I mean, what greater reward is that? Um, I do care a great deal about my students. I, thank you for the yelping. You've exposed me. My students have taught me a lot about teaching, so I think I'm fortunate to still be learning and working with people I respect. I mean, I really do love my students. And I feel that the greatest gift I can give my students is the ability to learn how to write. And that is rewarding. That is rewarding, and the relationships I share with my students is rewarding to me. So I think it's a task where if you do it right, you get a lot of thanks. Thank you for what you do. Good to see you. Thank you. So Ms. Sisson, she clearly makes it her mission to get students ready for college. And as some of these kids really admire, fun fact, she went to both Harvard and Brown University. She did not boast about this, but her students and staff, well, they told me, and they're really proud of her. She seems like a natural educator. Is being a teacher what she always wanted to do? So I was surprised to hear it was not. She used to actually work in business in Boston, and her husband's the one that told me this story. He said one day she was driving around Cambridge. She saw these students walking out of a high school and just had an epiphany moment and said, you know what? I want to teach. That's that's my passion. That's what I want to do. And 32 years later, she's doing it. Seems to have worked out well. Uh, a couple things. First, good news is at North Central, she could walk to the mall. I mean, it's oh. just a nice little... <laughs> I thought about that thing. when she said Keystone. Uh, second thing, uh, time marches on. Need more nominees? That we do. So if you have a special teacher in your life, you can nominate them for April's Golden Apple Award. Just go online to wishtv.com slash golden apple and tell me all about why they should be our next winner. Wonderful. Hannah, thank you. Thank you, guys.